Fam Gang, welcome to another vlog. My name is Marley. If you are new and if not, hey bitch, we vlogging. Um, so oh, uh, real quick for the glam, dark renaissance all over the face and eyes, giving a neutral moment. I've actually had this makeup on all day. So shout out to the dark renaissance. I'm looking at myself. Um <laughs> what else is new i'm wearing siren lashes that are now back in stock i'm so stoked and then for my lips i did some bundles some lip bundles where it's the lipstick shade and then the corresponding liner so this is the goddess nude bundle i believe um where it's death of venus and oblivion liner this has been my new like everyday go-to it's amazing i like i live for this collection but i cannot wait to show you guys what my holiday collection will be um it's gonna be it's gonna be like iconic i'm so stoked so today i went on a little date um i want to show <laughs> i want to show you guys um oh i forgot we went to sephora um the two horror books that i got what did i get oh yeah i'm telling y'all my memory a little, a little sephora birthday I'm forgetting like my birthday is like next week which is so crazy the bitch is turning 30 years old and i can't even remember got a dior lip gloss in mahogany this is their lip glow oil i i love this but i think i love the packaging even more and i got the shade mahogany should i put this on over top of this let's see how it looks that's really pretty okay and then i got dior show pump and volume hd this is the mess yeah. Dior Show Mascara. I haven't used a Dior mascara in a really long time, but um, I needed a new mascara. Dior and the horror books, the way to my heart. I had such a good day. We went to lunch and we saw the new Venom movie. It was so good. If you haven't seen Venom, if y'all got kids, especially little boys or just you have kids that love like you wanna let's say let's say like you like horror movies but you feel like your kid isn't necessarily ready venom is such a good like segue like ooh, and he's like is it just me is is venom fine like is he sexy i don't know should i leave that in there i'm gonna delete that <laughs> not venom being sexy i don't know he makes me feel a certain type of way and he's so funny like i i just love like the character of him He's like, I, I feel like if my ADHD was like a character, it would be Venom because he's just so chaotic and just, it was everything. Casting was phenomenal. The screech girl with the eye and the, oh, I love it. Marvel never fucking misses. Hollywood or just LA in general is such a good place to like go to the movies. Like if you love to go to the movies, like, and you live in LA, like that's, we won. Well, y'all won. I just got here. No, we won. I'm in this bitch. I pay rent. Too much. Too much. I... Let me show you how it looks. The art of horror movies. And then the art, the art of pulp horror. And you guys know I have the other one. Here, I'll show you. Will you stay? And you guys know I have the art of horror. So I have all three books. These are such good coffee table books. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. Um, I saw these instantly and my date was like, you need to have these. Got these at Barnes and Noble and they were 20% off. I don't have, is this the, oh no, that's for Sephora. Uh, maybe he has the receipt, I don't have it. Um, but just so like, so inspiring. Like, I wanna just start my day off with this with a little bit of dark poetry and like, come on, man. Like, I love it. I think it's really good to um, to stay inspired as I um, make my way into, you know, the art of horror movies. I would love to make a horror movie one day or just, you know, star in one, write one, do the makeup for one, something like, Oh my god, is this Carrie right here? What was that? Look at how, like, if you love horror movies, get these books. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. They're everything. They're such, and they're just like, it's like, hello, I'm 
intelligent in the horror genre. Hello, so these are all going, oh, I just love, I wish it was like, I was like going to school. Like, hello, I'm here for my horror class. I love supporting just like cool, like online streetwear brands. I got this truck. I'm like in a trucker hat era. I don't know, maybe I miss Virginia. I miss like the white trash of it all, but this is so cute. It says all dogs go to heaven and it has um, this little, it's like a patch on here. It literally is the trucker hat that I like was wearing in my last video, but this one has like a patch, which is really cool. I'm not gonna put it on right now, but um, I'll probably wear it this weekend, but I wanna keep just like a trucker hat in my car. Um, Cause you know, I'm trying to um, get my skin together and I think it's just a good throw on piece. So I'll link um, the store below if you guys wanna get this. Then I also got, which I also totally forgot, is oh wow this actually came just in time actually no because it was hot as fuck today it was like eight hey oh. you know you just you see your cats just fucking wreaking havoc no owning a cat is hearing them like make a noise and just screaming out hey <laughs> not even like moving or looking or doing anything like that i got this hoodie look at how slick this is like, is this not fucking, come on, dude. Like, this is so fucking sick. So it's a hoodie with a patch and it's the fucking um, Jason mask, but it has the fucking, um, how do you call? <laughs> not the African coming out. How do you call this? Um, the Louis V print on it. And then I love that it's like kind of frayed. I love that it's just like, you know, it's like, you can tell that like somebody like hand sewn this, but how cool is this uh that's all that i got i don't know i don't know what else to do um, i'm just gonna clean up real quick um tomorrow is what's tomorrow sunday and i think monday i'll vlog some more i guess i don't know i'm just happy i had such a good day today yesterday i was not i was having a day i wouldn't necessarily call it a bad day but it was just you know when like you just get really overwhelmed and i called my mom and just like it's so weird because me and my mom we we've never really been close but i'm the most vulnerable around her or with her and i know she just like growing up, I was very, um, I wasn't as emotional, emotionally intelligent as I am now. Like growing up, especially like with my behavior issues, like if I was happy, I would be screaming, laughing, running around. If I was sad, I would be screaming, crying, laughing, running around, no. Um, but just like the impulsiveness of it all. So now when I call her, I like, I want her to think that I'm strong is basically what I'm saying, but it just never goes like that. And I really feel like now our relationship, like if you can't go to your mom, you know what I'm saying? Or just a parent or so, the person who took care of you when you're, when you were younger, if you can't be vulnerable with them, I think that it really damages you. And I really think that like, you know, it's like, if I can't, cry to you if i can't be vulnerable with you who can i be vulnerable with and i think that like we're kind of just understanding that dynamic with each other so it was really good i was just like telling her how overwhelmed i was and you know and i'm just you know i'm working all the time and not lonely i'm not lonely but i'm alone and you know and she's just reassuring me she's just like why don't you like come visit and i'm like nah I'm fine. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm, I'm okay. I'll be okay. But um, I thought that I would be able to go home for this time of the year because October and um, just the East Coast in general is just so beautiful. So um, clearly can't go home. But um, hopefully in December, I'll be able to um, at least take Raph and Lily and just spend a few days there or even like drop them off there. I know that she misses them so you know just you know when you i'm ranting i'm venting wow i don't do this i'm talking um i feel like when you get older and you have um 
you're very like I'm very career driven and it's become such a like it's the first thing that people what what, what am I trying to say like it's like the first thing that people see like when people see me they see like my job and what I do and it's so good now to appreciate like the little things like fucking horror books like you know what I'm saying like the it's the little things that I know that like I could buy my mom anything literally anything but me coming home with Raph and Lily would just be better than a bag or a you know whatever like it it would really uh, make her happy so I, I would love to do that for her very soon I just need to plan how when if what the fuck so that I'm not making sense I don't know I'm gonna edit this back and be like girl what the fuck are you talking about mm. am I hungry look at this lip this is a nice lip he just had to be on camera one way or another because he know that he cannot be right here so now look oh, are you king of the jungle it's giving scar when he pushed Mufasa off the cliff I, can you lend me your hand while I strut on this land come on I know you're not scared. You okay, mama? Hello, it is Monday. Um, I attempted to film a TikTok. I don't know why, like, I cannot TikTok. Like, I watched it back and I was like, I hate this. But I do like how the look turned out. I tried to do just like a simple everyday. <sighs> Like literally, it's not a waste of time. I keep trying to tell myself I didn't waste my time. Now I know better. Kind of have a busy schedule today. Where are we at? Where are we at? I'm trying to write in my planner more. Like, like look at my Monday and Tuesday. Very busy. Um, so I'm just gonna pack my like work bag. So this is like my briefcase. I um, heavily inspired by the Devil Wears Prada. You know. Not saying I'm the devil, because y'all love to do that, but in my mind, I am Miranda Priestley. Kind of. I'm the trap Miranda Priestley. We'll say that. And it's a consignment bag. I never buy like brand new designer unless it's like, no, I don't think I've ever bought anything brand new. I love like when things have like character, you know, when it's a little, you know, worn in. I just, I love that. So we are going to the studio office. Um, I have a dress coming in. I need to get fitted. Um, so yeah, so we're off. Um, I don't know what shoes to wear. I did like take some pictures, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I like my look today. I'm try I tried to look like, you know, business professional. If I was to, well, I actually am. I'm going to my office. Like what looking professional means to me right now. So I'm just wearing, I don't know if I showed you guys this top before, but this Fashion Nova top um, and then this Killstar. Can you guys see this Killstar um, belt and then some leggings from Target. I don't know what shoes to wear though. I'm probably just gonna wear slides because um, there's no there's no point. I have a lot of stuff to carry. I low-key wanna change. I'll probably change when I get there. So yeah. Okay, so let's try this car vlogging thing one more time. Oh my fucking, this fucking shirt, like it needs to stay like this and it doesn't. Fucking Fashion Nova, cheap ass shit. Design of it is cute, but the construction of it is fucking terrible. But what else is new? All right, so we are headed to Gotham. No, we're going downtown. I call it downtown Gotham. I posted that on my story. A lot of um, 
a lot of New York people didn't like that. But ask me if I give a fuck, cause I don't. I already know I'm about to hit traffic, I always fucking do. I just don't know what music I wanna play. I really wanna start getting into more podcasts. Cause I always hit traffic on the way to downtown. So not him in the middle of what is going on? There's literally what? <laughs> Hollywood is so weird, you guys. There was like this dude standing right in the middle of traffic holding a sign. I couldn't see what it was saying, but can run over if you want to. Not in front of me. You're not about to stand in front of me. So I can't go. Uh, <laughs> what was I talking about? I will say though, I feel really good. I woke up, I cleaned, I listened to some motivational speeches. Y'all, y'all gotta listen to Les Brown. He's like this, you know, older black man, but his voice is so like, it just, it's just one of those voices that like you, you listen to. Like it's not, you can play it in the background where your subconscious is like listening to it, but woo, Les Brown got a voice. Um, but yeah, listen to him this morning while I was cleaning up and that like set the tone for my whole day. I even like listen to him in the shower. Um, and you can listen to him on YouTube too. That's where I, you know, we love free. Well, I'm in traffic. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna vibe out to, what do I wanna listen to today? Every time I look at my phone, I'm just like, what? Like, what is going on? Um, I think today is a good yeah, yeah, yes day. Even though I'm like not in that vibe, but I'm in that mood. So, yeah, I'm gonna vibe out to that and eventually make it downtown, hopefully in the next like 20 minutes. Hello, it is me again, switching bags. Um, today is gonna be really fucking exciting. Um, I'm gonna vlog what I can, I'm not sure what I can do, um, but I have a photo shoot with Shutter you know the street the horror streaming app signed the contract yesterday so crazy like at the top of it, it said amc i was like ah! is it her hollywood moment already Just switching bags i'm like kind of nervous kind of excited well no i'm very excited but i'm like very very calm today it's kind of weird what is this um now usually this calm i think what it is is like i really want um what am i trying to say i really want today to go really well i really want to do um you know high performance today so i also had um a lot of coffee is this all my stuff <laughs> i'm like i have more stuff than this oh just packing up just the little things. Okay. I feel like I always have a new bag to show you guys. I really haven't been shopping like that, but um, I'm carrying vintage Balenciaga city bag. Cause you know, I'm a city girl, allegedly. Hi cutie pie. You gonna miss me? Hi. Corny. Hi. This is the suitcase I'm taking. My room is, it's a mess. Um, I'm just bringing some heels just in case, makeup accessories, um, underwear, extra underwear just in case. Um, I'm bringing a strapless bra. Do we miss the makeup bags? I put like all my makeup in here. I was like, fuck, I haven't used this in so long. And then this is where my accessories are. So yeah, so we're gonna pack this up and head to the car. And I know they're gonna have makeup on set, but I just did my base, really simple. I actually really love this. I'm like, why don't I do this more often? Um, so yeah, so let's go.
Give me uh -huh. a turn. Yes, honey. So that's two. Yeah. scenes so crazy we honestly had a fucking ball it was just such an amazing experience like honestly i'm still like on a high from it like i literally i can't like when i came home i'm like i don't even want to <laughs> i don't want to take my makeup off i don't want to like i don't want this day to be over it was such a good day and it was so good to like be on the other side like it was so it felt so good to like give that control and that power to like other people because y'all already know like i be in my fucking room like all of this i do like in my in my own little habitat and to go 
and have somebody do my hair, have somebody do my makeup, have somebody pick up my clothes, have somebody take my pictures, have somebody give me direction. It was just, uh, it was amazing. Have a newfound respect for models, even though I'm not a model. <laughs> We're gonna make some tea. How cute is this cup? Where'd I get this? Spirit Halloween? Yeah, we're gonna make some tea. I'm low key exhausted. I had a meeting when I like literally first woke up at like 10 a.m. Um, had another long um, just consultation, virtual consultation um, with laser away. I'm really excited for that. I'm finally like doing what I need to do. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because um, hopefully they'll let me, I mean, they should, it's fucking LA, but, um, they, hopefully they'll let me, um, take you guys with me and I'll, uh, record that process. And then I just had a really cool interview with this, like, blog, podcast, um, super nerdy. It's about, like, black nerdy cosplay. Um, we did a really cool interview with such good energy. Um, so yeah, that was, <laughs> that was my day. I also went to work, did a ton of work shit, got, like, over, like, maybe maybe like 150 orders out today. So, I mean, I didn't really do anything. My assistant did. <laughs> Hi, Mineka, love you. Um, but yeah, I overall had a good day. Had a really good, really, really good day today. Should we talk about the glamour? Um, I did, I believe I did Van Gogh and Raphael, and I literally just smoked it out real quick. I did this glam in like literally like 15 minutes. Um, and then I did Eclipse, oldie but goodie on the eyes. I was trying to pick something that I had in stock because, yeah, the store is crazy. Um, uh, ah! Excuse y'all. That's disgusting. I'm going to edit that out. I say that and then I, anyways. Um, and then for the lip, I did Renegade. I did Apocalypse Liner, which might not be in stock. I'm not sure. Apocalypse Liner, Renegade Lipstick, and Goth Majesty. And then I just put a, um, and then I just put a Marc Jacobs gloss on top. Love this. It's giving very fall, holiday, sultry vibes. I just put on this shirt for the interview because, I don't know, it's very comforting. I got this at a thrift store um, in Virginia, my favorite local thrift store. Um, it was like $4, and it's just like the quality of it is Say hi, mama. You're a big girl, mama. Your mommy's big girl. Hello, my black princess. Princess Lily. She's like, who the fuck are you talking to? Look, mama. You guys, everyone needs a black cat. Look at how beautiful. You're so beautiful, mama. Not to be really sad, black cats are the least adopted cats at the fucking pet adoption please isn't that so sad and they're most like especially oh, no because i'm gonna cry um people just like literally go out looking to like harm and kill like black cats during this time of the year which like literally breaks my heart oh i love you mama like lily is literally she is so pr like she's literally a princess like look at how look at how she is like she's just like pick me up and hold me you okay, mama? Princess Lily, Princess Lily. Okay, okay we're making tea, Lily. We're making tea. Drinking ginger tea. Honey ginger. Instant honey ginger tea. I don't know, my mom sent me, <laughs> my mom sent me this. Um, it's caffeine free, gluten free, 100% natural. I don't know where. Who knows where she got this from? Probably Ross. So of course I have something to show you because I am always buying something because I have nothing else to do but live my fantasy. We're gonna open her up. You ready? You ready, Mamacita? Oh God, here your nosy ass come. You are so nosy. Wrap. All right, so what did we get? Some pleasers, yay. I'm about to be a stripper, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for my stripper era? Ooh, what's my stripper name? What should my stripper name be? 
what should my stripper name be? I need something hood but classy. Hood but I'm classy. Okay, so I got <laughs> these look really small. Look at how cute. Whose feet is this gonna fit on? This looks so small. I'll link them below if you do wanna wear them. But let me try this on. Cause this, it looks so small. It looks too small. Oh, this is so powerful. See, I, I feel like people really think I'm this tall in real life, but in reality, uh, wah. I'm not short, I'm average, and I don't like that. I wish I was like Megan, the, I, I wish I was like 5'10". I wish I was fucking Debo and like Amazonian goddess. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one on and try the other one. Um, They're literally, I literally got the same shoe, just different, Um. That one, this one's open toe, and then this one is closed toe. So let's see, you know, just in case I don't have my feet done. Okay, so one is open toe, one is closed toe. So cute. Um, yeah, I'll link them below if you guys want these, cause everyone deserves a bad bitch shoe. Your tail out of here, little lady. Ooh, they gave me some red. Love that. Money? I wish I could be a stripper. I'm way too clumsy to be climbing up on anybody's pole with my big ass ass. But I support these strippers. It's like, uh, no, I'm not psych. I do. Of course I do. Get on. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Oh, can you see my titties? I mean, that should be fine. Um, I <laughs> got to try. Oh, I forgot this was here. Got to try it on dresses and more shoes. Next thing I knew, I had made a mess. It all happened so fast. So I'm about to just relax, drink my tea. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I think I'm gonna do a face mask. And just, you know, relax. I didn't even realize I had did this. It's giving Moulin Rouge, no? We are lady. No. So I'm about to change into this. I don't even know why I started filming. Um, I just finished this Catwoman little photo shoot just filmed. You guys have probably seen the video by now. I think, maybe. My phone has been blowing up. I have emails out the ass, but I have some things to show you guys and I'm gonna change, run down and get the mail and show you guys some more things. Because this is my life. Show and tell, show and tell. You guys, how pretty is this rose that my sister got me for my birthday? Sorry, there's a glare, but it's just a black rose. It's giving just gothic Beauty and the Beast. I love this and she knew I would love this. I'm actually gonna put this on, I think my makeup table. I would like to look at this often. Um, I'll link it below, it's from Amazon, but I'll link it below, it's a thought that counts. I'll link it below, but it's just so cute. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. I actually think it's a real rose too. So I'll link this below. I'll, I'll ask her where she got this from and I'll link it below. If you guys just want, you know, just like to give a subtle gift. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you, Rachel, I love you. That was so nice. She also got me, hold on. Damn, I'm getting cut on everything. Y'all see my butt? She got me this glass and it says, is you 30? Yes, no, bitch, I might be. She know me, she know I'm a little ratchet. Not a little ratchet, a lot of ratchet. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna change out of this. I love this, I wish I, I really wish I had somewhere to go. Not that it matters, I live in fucking Hollywood, so this is like a normal thing, but um, I cannot stay in this, but I'll wear this again. Literally Catwoman. Is it giving Catwoman? Is it giving, give me all your money? Give me all your money, it's a stick up, stick side. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back to show you. 
What, Lily? Uh, I have been playing the new. Let me take these off. I've been playing the new Lana Del Rey non fucking stop, like non stop, like it's so good. I'm not gonna hold you. I was a little worried, you know. I was because <laughs> Kem trails over the country club. I was like, it's very white, Lana. It's giving, it's giving um Republican white girl. Excuse me. Hey. I'm coming. Please. It's not all about food, Lily. The way that I, the way that I turn into my mom. Look. I, mother I'm a mother I'm also hungry <laughs> it's just too much just too much to do let me show y'all what I got from Killstar real quick I really just want to show y'all this jacket I would I just want to see if it's gonna fit right or not Lily it's not time to eat yet. It's not time. I know the time. I got a, I got a couple of other things um, that I don't want to show y'all yet. This is the Alchemy Aviator Jacket. This was $199. Ralph, let me do this, okay? Please, please, let me do this. Oh my God. I got a large, I feel like I should have got a medium because I feel like it's gonna be huge. Um, but fall is here in LA. And even though I do have a leather jacket, I want something just a little bit more, I don't know. But I am going back to Virginia in December and then I'm going somewhere else. I don't want to tell you exactly where, but it's out the country and it's going to be very cold. Okay, so this is the outside. I was, you know, scouring the internet for a, just a nice jacket. Oh, I thought the inside was faux fur too. Um, and then I found myself on Killstar. Let me tell you, the way that I like rip them a new asshole, they will like never send me stuff, which is fine. Um, Cause a lot of their stuff is poorly made, but I do like, I like some of their stuff. I like, well, clearly I do. Sorry, there's so much going on. Clearly I do because I find myself on their website again and again, but okay, let's see, let's see with the red lip and the, oh, 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 it's so nice. I want a jacket, fuck yeah. It's giving Yeti bitch. This is exactly what I wanted, exactly. Um, I'm not gonna lie, oh, I was about to say, this is a little tight. Um, be careful if you wash this. Do not put it in the dryer. I've made that mistake before. Mistake before, but it's honestly it's not too light. It's not too heavy. Um, I guess these are the pockets. Okay, so it comes with pockets. Oh, this is actually perfect. This is so perfect. Oh, I love this. Danny Devine was wearing this in the in the picture, and that girl, she could sell me a fucking, she could sell me anything, honestly. She could be wearing a hot pink fucking bunny suit, and I would buy it. But yes, it's giving, oh, stop. This is exactly, exactly what I wanted. Not too light, not too heavy. It's got the fur collar, and it's very stylish. This and a red lip, Blood Rose. Well, I actually did three. Y'all seen it, y'all know. Okay, we're actually going to a pumpkin patch tomorrow. So this came just in time, I'll wear this tomorrow. So cute, here's the back. Here's the back, bitch. Oh, can you see my butt? <laughs> love how it looks. I love it, it's giving instant outfit. And this is, this is what I miss about this time of the year. Jacket, whatever pants you wanna wear, cute boot, and that's it. You're dressed, you are dressed and ready to go. Like, ugh, I miss this. 
and this is perfect like it's what i tell you it's like it's not it's it's gonna keep you warm, but I'm not hot. Like I just like ran downstairs to get the mail. I'm not hot, but I'm like, I'm comfortable. I'm very comfortable. And I got a large and I have like, you know, I'm a little chunky. Should I put this back on? I wanna see, I need new, like I, um, my running around. <laughs> this is how, this is 30. When you need cute off duty clothes. Yeah, this is this is the moment. It's giving airport. It's giving don't talk to me. It's giving gothic alternative luxury. We love to see it. I guess I could show you guys what else I got. Uh no, because I have to wear a bra. Um, yeah, well, I lied. I'll show you guys. I'll eat later. Um I don't know what I'm gonna eat and I don't wanna, I'm tired of, or, not that I'm tired, I'll never get tired of ordering in, but I need to, I need to cook, I have, I got some, sorry, the, the y'all know I have a, um, I have chicken in the fridge that I need to cook. Is this on? It's on. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I have chicken in the fridge that I need to cook because I got some HelloFresh meals and I need to, it needs to get eaten. It needs to get ate. Um, but I don't want to want to cook it at all. So, um, I, who titties gonna fit in here? Me, anytime I buy anything, I'm like, is this gonna fit? It, will this fit me? But look at how cute. Literally what I have on, but just spider web. Okay, Killstar, Killstar went off a little bit. Um, this one too, I follow her. I, I don't know her name, but she, I think it's called like Dress to Kill You. I just love her. You guys know I love, like, she's everything. She had this on and I said, I want to see it. So I got this, what's this called? Webutant bu Bullet Bra. So it's literally, it's like the Betty Page one, but not. I don't know, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, oh, also too, like I'm also too, y'all like to point that out. Yeah, I say that. Um, oh, you can take the pads out. Cool. I really like layering um, clothing. I used to do it a lot before. I don't know why I stopped, but it's just so easy. It's so easy to like, because I, I told y'all I'm not, when it comes to clothes, like I'm not doing too much. Like it's... I, I'm going to be naked anyway, so I might as well just layer on shit that's going to make me look naked. Um, that didn't make any sense. Why are you watching this video? The next thing I got is called Overkill Fash Overkill Fishnet Top in Leo. Ooh, I need to eat. It's just a cheetah print top. I think I could put this on over what I'm wearing. Uh-oh, -uh, no scratched in the city area don't say you're over me when we both know that you ain't cute right oh my god she's wearing prints and not black who is she yeah i'm trying to get more into cheetah um i'm trying to start wearing more purple baby steps Purple and red. Those are, those are the, that's what I, ow! Jesus Christ. How cute. You just need a bra. I really do think this would look really cute underneath this. Um, but yeah, this was on sale for like $11. Very cute. Casual little top killstar why aren't you sponsoring me it's fine <laughs> i don't care i'm gonna care i don't want no sponsor that's that was terrible <laughs> i think i'm having a mental breakdown kidding yes i'll see you guys tomorrow I want to edit these pictures. I really want one of these pictures to go up today. Yeah, okay. I'm going to eat. 
Remember Girls Gone Wild? Did y'all ever stay up and watch that? And the white girls were like, I did. You want to know why? Because <laughs> I was gay. It's like, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm only half gay, not whole gay. What am I? What are you doing? Look, we all going crazy. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, just had a meeting. I just want to show you my makeup real quick because I'm very proud of it. My eye was like watering, so it looks kind of crazy, but just use Hellraiser and then the palette. It's very, I was trying to do like a high fashion, oh, not that, but a high fashion like look today. Um, I'm gonna take a picture later at the studio, but I love this top. It's actually from Sheen. Um, and then with some, what are these, fishnets from Amazon, belt is Killstar, and this Mary Watt London um, skirt. It doesn't fit all the way, as you can see, but, you know, it's cute. It's cute. I just did my hair, and it's just giving glam goth boss, you know? My meeting went so fucking good, like, so well. Um... It's time to elevate. It's time to, it's time, it's time. It's time. Um, very, very, very stoked for y'all to see what's to come. We had, it was a fabulous meeting. It was really good, good energy and just fun. Like I miss having fun while I'm working, like creating like stuff, <laughs> like just makeup and accessories is so fun. And lately it's been very stressful. So I'm, I'm ready to have fun again, you know? I feel very Alexander McQueen. Oh, ah! See, why can't it just stay like this? I know I'm always showing my boobs. All right, so for today, I have to drop off um, a package at DHL so we could go do that and then just studio stuff. I've got emails, more holiday um, things to plan. I think I'll stay in this and then I'll just bring some clothes to change into. But we are switching bags. This is a, I don't think, have I showed y'all this bag? This is a vintage, actually, yeah, no, we're gonna switch bags. I'm gonna wear it today just cause like my outfit is very inspired by um, Alexander McQueen. So we are switching to a very vintage, it's so, this bag is so old, but it's a vintage Alexander McQueen. This might be from like 1990 something. Like it's very, it's very old. <laughs> it's very old, but I do feel like it fits the vibe for today and we love to see it. And then we'll head off. I'm gonna, the studio looks so good. I'm gonna give you guys an update. And then I think that, no, I'm not gonna wrap up the vlog, but I think that, um, this will be, will this be the last time I talk to you guys? Maybe. Let me just say it right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, I know my shit not dying. Oh. Um, <laughs> Hopefully you guys love the video and I will see you in my next vlog or whatever. Bye, I love you.